Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. So in our previous video, we have learned about this callback, right? So we have a function called upload video where we have used this timeout and within that we are trying to do uh, upload video, just a simulation. And also we have this callback where we are sending our data, right? So how we have achieved this in the sense like since that's an asynchronized call and we want to do the process in synchronized, we have achieved that with the help of callback execution. So here we have this upload video where it's going to give me the uploaded data and that we are passing to the published video and then we are getting some data and we are passing that to the notify subscriber function right so basically what here we are doing is we are just like calling a function inside that we are calling again and inside that we are calling again which looks okay for now but consider that we have like 10 15 process 10 10 15 to functions to call and if i just call them inside them inside them inside them then obviously it will look very tedious and that won't be a good to read actually okay so how to solve this problem in javascript is very simple using the promises in promises we have two ways one is the then and catch we can do the chaining actions of multiple then as well i will teach you that apart from that also we have this async and await so we're going to take a look how to ignore this callbacks and use the async await in detail okay so i'm just going to copy this data for here and i'm going to call this copy this notify subscriber as well okay okay now what we are going to do we are going to simulate the same use case we are going to upload a video we are going to publish it and then we are going to notify to our subscriber so let's write the function so here i'm going to create a function called upload video and then I'm going to use something called promise so return new promise what is promise promise is basically your constructor which will have two callbacks one is the resolve and another one is your reject okay so what is resolve and reject of course it's a callback that means it's a argument and of course argument means you can use this as a function to do any operation now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy this set timeout just to simulate the same use case and here what we are going to do is we are going to remove this guy this console log statement not needed this callback is also not needed now resolve means it's a positive scenario and reject means it's a negative scenario so to simulate that i'm just going to have a constant variable called uh, is uploaded equals to okay i'm assuming that upload is done okay so if the upload is done what we are going to do we are going to call the result okay so here i will say like result then followed by upload done okay that's it pretty much easy right else what we will do else we will do something called reject so reject means it's a kind of like your negative uh, flow okay so here i will say like upload failed okay that's it we are pretty much done with our first function so what is promise promise is basically if you want to use the then and catch block or async and await then we have to use this promise constructor where it has two arguments as a callback one is the resolve and another one is the reject so to perform the asynchronized way i have used this set timeout that already i discussed in our previous video as well and here i am assuming now that uploaded is done so here i have true and if it's true i'm just trying to resolve that like upload done i'm saying upload is done if there is a false variable then of course the else statement will run okay so similarly like upload video i'm going to make this as published video now okay and then followed by instead of is uploaded i will just name it like is yes, published it's a local variable we can leave is uploaded as well but just for your understanding i'm doing this is published l-i-s-h-e-d okay so here we'll just also say like um, publish done or publish fail i'm going to change the timeout to 1.5 second so here it will take like three seconds to upload and it will take like 1.5 second to publish and after that we have this notify subscriber it's a synchronized so we can just leave this as it is now how to call this so we have the working functionality of upload pub publish and notify so we are going to call this right so here i will say like upload video then followed by if i give dot 
you can see like we are getting this then function now okay so within this then what we are going to get is the published status right so for example i can say like published status and then i can just log this published status i want to know what is the status of the published video right so here i'll select publish status cool yeah now once upload is done what we are going to do we are going to perform the publish upload is done we are going to do the publish right so i will say like return then followed by publish video now this published video is also going to return me the promises because inside that of course we have this promise right so here i can say again dot then and what does this going to return me this is going to return me the uh, sorry this is uploaded status actually and then i'm going to get the publish status now okay so publish status okay so this is going to return me this publish video is going to return me the publish status and then i'm going to print that as well so console log and publish status and after that what we have to do we have to of course notify the user right so i'll say like notify subscriber and this guy need the data data is what data is basically your object where it has title and description and you can see video data dot title that means this data we are passing very simple thing right you already know this now just in case if there is any error we have to handle that as well right so here i'll say like dot catch and i will get the error message and i'm going to print that so console.log and error that's it this is how you have to use your resolve the promises this is how you have to resolve your promises so we have this then then means of course it's like your positive flow catch means it's your negative flow okay i'm going to run this let's see the output so here i'll just say like node promise demo.js and let's see so upload is done after that publish is done and after that notification is also sent okay now just in case if i make this upload as failure so i'm going to negotiate that negotiation of true means of course it's a false here your upload will get failed so if it's upload is failing there is no use of publishing video or notifi notifying the subscriber right so you can see upload is failed we are in the catch block that's it the program is over right so that's a cool thing about the then and catch now let me change this to true now coming back to this how does this works so first thing upload video what it's what if you see the return statement it's returning us the promises promises means we can use the then or the catch or even we have the finally block we'll talk about that maybe in some another video finally means after your then and catch if there's a positive it will run in the then block if it's negative it will go in the catch block after the both or either any one if you want to execute something you can use the finally block okay yeah so upload video is going to return me the status how does it knows what status to return right so if you go inside this upload video here you can see like we are using the keyword called return and then followed by promise so promise has two things one is resolve another one is reject so if you go inside the reject it says like upload done right so that's why when we console log this upload status it's basically taking the data from the result okay and when i say catch that means of course it's receiving the data from the reject block so here we are just printing the error and we got like upload failed because if you see within this reject here we have mentioned like upload failed. okay now we have printed the status then why i'm returning this published video because i want to perform chaining of actions chaining of actions in the sense like one then will be there after that another then will be there so for example this guy this upload video is returning me the promises of resolve and reject of the upload status so that's why we have like upload status we have print the function is done second thing we want to publish right so here i'm saying like hey take my publish video function and do with that so here since this is our last return now i have the status from this particular function so here publish status is there i am printing after that we don't have any asynchronous block of piece of code so i'm just directly calling notify subscriber and of course program means there will be error so i have the catch block i hope you got this so this is the flow of then and catch does this look good
kind of but not exactly what i meant here is so upload videos then within that we have this return and we are using again then and catch what if there is no return can i use another catch and uh, can i use another then block lot of questions will rise and also like if you have lot of functions for example compare a uh, compare this program to an actual kyc process of a bank where user have to register you have to log in you have to perform your kyc you have to check the validation of your other card your pan card lot of things are there right it will take like 10 to 15 process so if i have to call that within the callbacks that will be really hell and if i use the same with then and cats it will look good but not exactly as we are expecting because we have to use multiple then blocks and also one disadvantage of then block is like if you want to return something you have to return and use in it use it in another block but if it's in like async at await it will be really easy let me show you that so i'm going to perform the same now but with the help of async and await okay so here first of all i will write a async function and i will say like video upload process that is what we are simulating now right and then i will use my try and catch block so what is try try is basically your positive flow which is similar to your then block and catch is your negative block which is similar to your this catch block okay now here i will say like await then followed by upload video and this is going to return me const is let's name it like upload status okay and then i'm going to print this console log upload status similarly i'm going to uh, call the publish video and this guy is going to return me publish status and i'm going to print this so console log publish status okay so here you can see like uh, we have this published video and we are using this await keyword but it says like uh, this has no type of this expression that is because if i click on this published video it's actually taking me to the um, another file actually so there is two published video it is coming from your callback file and it is coming from your promise demo file so both file have the same issue I mean same name so that's the issue so basically we can solve this with the help of use strict uh, thing but i will cover that maybe in some another video for now i'm just going to close this guy okay call back demo i'm going to close it now here you can see there is no compile time issue okay yeah now i'm going to use my notify subscriber where i have to pass my test data as well okay so that's it we are pretty much done does this look easy and easy to readable of course it is it is very very easy to readable so let's execute and check of course it's going to be the same but it didn't execute so so yeah we forgot to call this guy yeah okay sorry so we have to call this function and then if i go and run it should work fine upload done publish done notification sent okay so what we have done here we have done this like we have called this upload fund upload video which is going to return me the promise so if there is any promise i have to handle with the await keyword and if your function is not async type your await keyword will not work so make sure you have the async function always okay or else your await won't work where we have to use await whenever there is a return of promises there we have to use the await keyword for example this guy doesn't return anything it returns void void means of course it's not going to return anything but it's not a promise right so if i use await keyword here your vs code will tell you hey you have used this but doesn't mean anything to me so we can just remove this right so what is try try is basically your positive flow catch is basically your negative flow so for example if i go and change this upload status to false it should reject me with the upload failure message right so let's go and print this if upload is fail of course obviously the other guys will not execute so here the error message is like upload fail and since it failed here itself 
failed in the sense like it's returned the reject reject is done so other functions will not get execute okay so if you see this code this is looks more of like more of like your java if you ignore this await keyword and this async thing so you are calling a function which is returning something and you are doing the print statement right so it's a basically sequence of synchronized line where internally it solves your promises so that is the best part of async and await and few things you have to remember here is basically if the function is async then only you can use the await keyword and whenever we call a function that should be also await but if i do this now it will throw an error because await doesn't work on the top levels it should always works within the function higher order functions doesn't work it should always call within a call back call back but how does it works previously in the sense like as of now we have only one function and internally we are solving this so it should work but technically when we write our automation test scripts we have always the test block where we have a callback and within the callback we basically uh, call the functions okay so that's the difference between then catch callback and the process i hope you really understood this if not do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to cover it up again so yeah that's it if you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll be happy to reply. See you in the next one very soon. Bye-bye. Take care.